All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday, I guess it is, the 1st of March. Wow, so quick. Um, hello, Mi Michi, Michi, uh, from New York, just joined us. Wendy's new from Oregon. Welcome. Hello, Aretha. Welcome. Brandy's new. So again, guys, um, we're having some fun. Hello, Pamela. Aretha's from Maryland. We have Jean here. So again, welcome, welcome. Um, this is a new, um, not new age and orientation. This is a, a, that, a certificate workshop, all right? Woo, Jean, Jean, then it's Jean, right? From Paris, living in Texas, welcome. Um, Ebony, I think we're doing Paris later on too. So um, what do we have? We have a lot going on this month. So um, Ebony's from Cincinnati, so. Paris, France. Yes. So um, ah, from Paris, living in Texas. All right. So uh, let me look and see what we're doing. Let me show you guys the schedule just so you guys can see, because uh, we just it's posted in all the groups, but I just wanted to kind of share with you guys. So yeah, we're doing France, Caesars, St. Vincent's and um, Grenadines and St. Kitts, Kennedy Space Center, Wales, Amsterdam, Marriott, Netherlands, we're going to finish Hawaii and AM Resorts. We're doing New York, British Virgin Islands. We're doing Paris on the 19th. Uh, Azamara, um, usually we save Sundays for the cruises, okay? So we're doing Azamara, and then we're doing the final test on Princess and Cunard. So I put it towards the end of the month because I want to let you guys know uh, Princess and Canard, you get a free cruise just by doing the training. You have to complete it, um, but you just pay port taxes and fees. Amazing, amazing. Three days to a 30-day site, okay? I mean, 30-day uh, cruise. So we're doing the final exam. So if you have not um, completed that, I have all my retornings. I can't talk today my recordings on um, uh, my YouTube channel. And we also have in our incentive group um, where you can um, uh, see a breakdown. We actually, um, Sandy created that for us, okay? So right here, da, 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 this is my YouTube channel. Um, this is where we put all our trainings that we're doing, okay? So as you see, we just did the Royal Caribbean final exam. Yes, we passed. I think there was only about eight of us on there after the end because we, you know, it's like was a seven-week course, um, but we finished it, guys. So again, um, how do you get past the canard that don't register? I have tried them multiple times. Um, Linda, if somebody could maybe answer if they've had trouble. Um, you should be able to get into it if you, um, but if not, um, I would probably contact them or contact Archer, okay? Um, because Princess, remember Princess and Canard, Princess, you have to get approved by Archer anyway. So since Canard is a sister company, um, I would contact Archer. All right, as you see, we've done Finland, Philippines, the Royal Caribbean Part 5, New Age and Orientation, Seven Wonders of the World. So um, again, if you guys want to join my YouTube channel, um, yeah, one source. So again, you have to make sure if you haven't tried um, applying with um, Princess and Cunard, you do have to have Archer Travel approve that. Okay, then Linda, I would go and call them, um, Archer Travel, when we get done, because you want to make sure you get access I have to get in and finish my trainings too. All right, so just so you guys know, we have this right here, incentive vouchers only. Um, it is open to everybody, but I wanted to show you that um, Sandy has put it in here, a list of all our trainings that we've done. So that way you don't have to hunt around on my, um, on my, uh, Facebook page and try to find them because, you know, we may do one this week, another one next week, another one two weeks from then. Um, so we actually have a list. You passed it, Marnie. <laughs> da, 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 da. Can you hear me, Marnie? Yeah, I can hear you. Did I pass it again? Yeah. Right Was there. Jeez. It... Oh, no, I just seen it. So slow. Uh, I always look for the. Uh... <laughs> I always look for the little colors. 
I'm going there. <laughs> All right. So again, she's been really good as far as keeping these. It's very, up. It should be the very first one. Okay. Go oh, wait. Go down. You just had it right there. So March certificate schedule. Okay. There you go. So this gives you um, the the whole printout too. So that's just a schedule. I'm looking for the month or the the Google spreadsheet that you have all our trainings that we've completed. Is that this one? Yes, here it is. I don't know why it's not showing up as the Google page. Okay, so here, right here. Do you see this? We've done Alaska AM resorts. We do have to finish that. We are finishing it this month. Antigua, Aruba, Atlanta, Australia, Carnival. We just completed that. Get in there and do your gold level. What about the Virgin Voyages, guys? um right here we completed that gold tier you get now 150 onboard credit i think it is once you complete that so here's the youtube channel and here is the site to go in and register okay so again she keeps this in order the ones in yellow are the ones we are doing this month so again thank you sandy we appreciate you so much um, if you want this, I will go ahead and copy it here so you guys can um, save it on your thing. How are we able to obtain a copy? Right here. It's right here. And then also, if you are joined to our incentive voucher group, you can find it there also. All right. So everybody ready to get started? Uh, make sure you get in and get registered very easy again all you do is click register I chose Facebook it popped me right in you can always go in and update your profile once you know you're done uh, so we do a few trainings on here so once you register you should be able to just go right in and click in there um, so today we are actually doing ba -ba -ba. I think we decided we're going to do two of them today because they're kind of short so we're doing the French Riviera and then Paris but we're also doing another Paris later on in the month with another program so it's kind of close maybe it's the same one oops we actually have the same one in here so maybe no it's not it's the same one one is expert and one isn't okay thank you okay see how good she is i love i love my helpers all right guys so again who doesn't love paris right all right so we're going to go in here or and type in what the the link that we're doing or as i had already put it in here which link we're doing oops that's my google well, let's get back to the main link here there we go the french riviera that's the one we're going to start on okay so if you're just joining us for the first time, what happens, and just so you guys know why we do these and how we do these and how I got started. Um, my accountability partner, you guys all, if you create, if you requested one, should have gotten yours. Um, but she kept saying, are you done? Are you done with your Disney? Are you done with your princess? Let's book our free cruise. And um, and I wasn't. No, I'll put, I'll get it. I'll get to it. And da, da, da. So finally, I decided to for me to be accountable. I needed to set it on the schedule. And I thought, OK, if I'm going to do this training, why don't I see if anybody else wants to join me? Have a little fun. And we started doing that probably a little over a year ago. And we used to do it once a week, then twice a week. Now we're doing it four times a week, guys. So again, you can join us any day. Um, but if you if you can't, you can catch our recording. But they're a lot of fun because first off, we learn about the destinations. You get all kinds of marketing material. And then you start when you finish and get your certificate, you can post that and share it, you know, let people know you're a French Riviera expert. Um, we also get promotional um, uh, programs coming up. You get invited to familiarization trips. Um, some even send out gifts, you know, merchandise, stuff like that. So um, that's why it's always a very, very important to finish the training. Okay, we just finished the Royal Caribbean cruise line training. So we now um, they said that they have a fam trip. They also have seminars at sea, meaning I went on one in October for Bahama Paradise, $99. And we got to bring a guest. 
and you get to go and again learn about the ship learn about the excursions learn about the different hotels what they have to offer etc so there are a lot of fun again while you're out there you're on social media guys look at this i can book this for you okay so that's why it's very important to follow through and and um and also keep people keep like binders or files on their computer you know hey i want to learn about paris europe or whatever so make a binder and then some of these things that we go over print them out save them on your desktop etc okay all right so let's get going um so we got the french riviera nice monaco and more and grass okay so uh france beyond paris france is known mostly for debatable debatably the most romantic city in the world also just so you guys know we usually read sometimes there's videos but when we go to take the test i make sure everybody is with us and i make sure everybody passes okay so don't worry about that if you're falling behind or something we will wait for you to catch up okay a lot of people will follow along on their phone and then they'll do the training online okay all right, so much um, so that France and Paris are often used interchangeably by many new travelers. France, however, is not just about that. It is also famous for the beaches and is a playground for the rich and famous. The French Riviera is about that. So courses offered, you have the French Riviera, the Nice, the Monaco and more, and Grasse and more. Again, please um, forgive me for pronunciation. You can correct me if you'd like. I don't care. I just want to make sure we get through this and I'm happy for you guys to help. So thank you. All right. So this is the beginning level, 20 to 30 minutes. Pass the quizzes. Let's get going. Uh, France mostly. Okay. So we went through that already. So start the course. So you're going to follow along again if you have any questions problems go ahead and ask in the chat box we got a lot of amazing leaders trainers etc on here that will help you so france is known mostly for debatable for the romantic city okay we read that mediterranean coastline in the southeast of france is publicly known as the french riviera also known as the cote des désert sorry in french literally translated azure coast um it is also known for eze and gordon's perched villages grasses perfumeries and the glass blowers of viat the potters in valaris all right uh the country is europe france the currency is the euros the official language is french most french also speak english if you like intense heat, Southern France is sizzling hot in June, July, and August. Spring, March, and May, and autumn, September, and October are decidedly quieter. Prices are also considerably lower. France is part of the Schengen visa scheme. Okay. All right. Stay safe. Criminals prefer to pick on tourists because the tourists are usually relaxed and not expecting anything. How are we obtaining a copy of the Google Docs? Okay, I put that in there, there, thank you. I just got on, how do I find this? Sorry, no worries. Let me get you the link, copy, and then somebody can help you. Uh, you should be able to just click on register. You would like Facebook, it'll pop you right in. Again, we're just following along. So criminals, um, because they're relaxed and not expecting anything, avoiding being a victim is generally as simple, paying attention to what you are doing, locking your car while you are in it and not flaunting your valuables. Um, this can take the fun out of the holiday, but on a balance, it is probably even less fun to be a crime victim. So, so safe, stay safe and enjoy the views. All right, so here we are. These are the cities in the French Riviera. Okay, Monaco, Nice, Cannes, Centro, Pez, Toulon, Marcel. Uh, so you've got all these listed cities you'll want to visit. Okay, Nice, Cannes, Saint Tropez, um, Saint Tropez, Antibes, Eze, Monaco, um, including Monte Carlo, Grasse, Saint Raphael, Toulon, and Marcel. All right. 
Uh, events and festivals. Okay, let's look at the gallery. So you have the Casino de Monte Carlo. You have the Cannes Festival. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Okay. All right, so in Monaco, you have the Rally Automobile Monte Carlo in January. And pay attention to these, sometimes these will be test questions. International Circus Festival in January and February. Monte Carlo Masters, April through May. Formula One Grand Prix race in May. Um, in Nice, you have Carnival, February, and Jazz Festival in July. Menton, you have the Lemon Festival in February. Grasse, Rose Festival in May. Jasmine Festival in August. And then in Cannes, you have the Cannes Film Festival in May, along with the Cannes Film Market in May. And then Toulon Tournament, Tall Ships Race, okay? All right, arriving to the French Riviera. So the Riviera is well served with roads, railways, and nice airport is one of the busiest in France. The main entry port to the region is through Nice. By air, Nice's uh, Cote d'Azur airport is France's third busiest airport and very well connected to the major cities across the world. Pro tip, when planning a France itinerary, one can start from Paris and fly out from Nice or vice versa. Okay, so keep that in mind. Getting to the French Riviera, the Riviera is well served by flights to Nice airport one of the busiest in France. Nice Airport lies between Nice and Cagnes sur Mer and is well linked to the Riviera Resorts by bus and coach services. It is also linked to Monaco by helicopter service. There are also a few low cost flights serving the airport at Toulon. Toulon sorry. By train, the whole of the Riviera coast is well served by train. The main Marcellus uh, Ventimiglia uh, railway running close to the shore for much of the way between Toulon and the Italian border. There are direct TGV services from Paris, Brussels, Lille, Strasbourg, and other cities. Click here for train times and tickets. Also connected via high speed trains, serve the coastal region and inland to Grasse with the TGV Sedist said is service reaching Niceville station in five and a half hours from Paris. How long? Five and a half hours from Paris, okay? Major towns such as Cannes and Nice are also served by express trains from Paris, as well as for Nice trains from Genoa and other places in Italy. Due to competition from the European discount airlines such as EasyJet, SNCF, the French Railways, often offer very cheap fares from Northern France. And then by road, if you are traveling by car, then you should probably arrive using the A8 motorway from Aix en Provence or from Italy. The French department name for this region is Alps Maritimes and the backcountry is extremely hilly. Driving from Gen Geneva, Avignon or Turin, Turin as the crow flies is extremely scenic. However, it also is mountainous, slow, and not for those who suffer from car sickness, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, getting around, the Riviera has an adequate bus and train service. Most towns and villages also have taxis, okay? Uh, by car, the Riviera region has one of the worst accent records. <laughs> All right, if somebody can help Therese, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, the Riviera region has one of the worst accident records in France, and every local has his or her favorite story about a mad driver. At vacation times, the driving situation is exasperated by the hordes of tourists from different countries who have completely different driving styles. By train, there is one main line from Italy via Monaco, Nice, and Cannes, and then off towards um, Marcel, but not Saint-Tropez Saint uh, because there is no train to it, okay? 
In addition to the mainland, there are two scenic branch lines from Nice to Cuneo and Nice to Digny. In 2005, the branch line from Cannes to Grasse has reopened. And then by bus, there is no unified bus network. Rather, there is a mixture of routes and information that can be hard to come by on the internet, okay? So remember that, guys, the bus isn't you know, one of the best routes for um, traveling around in the Riviera. All right, what about the French Riviera Pass? Now, we talked about this the other day on another one, um, because here in the U.S., we have the city pass. So a lot of countries, cities, et cetera, have these passes that include a lot of museums, activities, and stuff, um, three- and four-day you know, park passes, stuff like that. So check those out. So the French Riviera has one. It's a city card proposed by the NICE Cote d'Azur Convention and Visitors Bureau, provides free access to most important sites in NICE and on the Cote d'Azur and helps you make big savings on your holiday budget. Discover NICE and Cote d'Azur with a single card available 24 hours, 48 hours a day, 72 hour options. For more information, visit the City Pass. So here you can click here. Oops, technical, go back. So I don't know why it's not opening. Frequently asked. Okay, so you can find that out, I guess, later. But um, but yeah, they have like Southern California where you can get SeaWorld, um, Disneyland, and then the museums and stuff like that. So um, the, the holiday or Hollywood Museum. So it's pretty cool. All right. How about eating? Okay, that looks like cocktails and you have the food. Look at that, yummy soup, salad, yummy, yummy, okay. All right, so cafes, bars, and restaurants are available to most, almost all price points and most tastes. However, the vast majority of eateries serve food local to the area. That is to say, provincial Cuisine with influences from Italy. Pizza restaurants are you, um, ubiquitous sorry, here, but the pizza is not at all the typical American style as pizzas normally have very thin base. Many pizzas are served with a few olives on top unless you explicitly request their absence. And it is normal, normal to add a spicy olive oil based dressing, sauce pimente before eating. Asian cuisine, Indian, Thai, Chinese, Japanese, etc., is available but is not common outside the main seaside towns. It can be very hard to get the ingredients yourself, although there are specialty stores in Cannes and Nice. Many Asian restaurants offer a multitude of Asian cuisines. Um, for example, Thai, Chinese, Vietnamese, and the food is rarely spicy unless you specifically request to do so. Uh, Boila base and salad nikois are perhaps the best known local specialties. Although there are others such as Saka, the mo mountainous backcountry makes a number of mostly goat or sheep cheeses, which are usually available in local supermarkets as well at a market stalls. The Riviera has a number of olive oil mills and a lot of olive trees. Most supermarkets are open Monday through Saturday from approximately 9 to 8 p.m. And particularly in the summer, some are also open on Sunday mornings. Most towns and markets, which typically operate in the morning and early afternoon of a particular day or days to sell fresh produce. Most towns and villages um, also have a number of bakeries, which generally open around 6 to, or 7 a.m. every morning, as well as butchers, fishmongers, and so on. How about drinks? The region makes many wines, with Cassis and Bandol being probably the best known. The major wine areas are east of St. Raphael, and wine tasting makes a pleasant change from other activities you taste. You can taste the excellent Venda Belle and Nice Hills. All right, Whew. so that's how we do it, guys. Now it's test time. So are you guys okay, ready? Let's take the test. If for any reason you can't take it with us, keep track of the answers. That way you don't have to go all the way through again, okay? So we're gonna take the test, get your thinking caps on. 
When did the branch line from cans to grass reopen? Grass day? Anybody know? Anybody know? I don't know what I clicked on, but I did not go to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're right here. And then I went down here and hit take quiz. The so question is out of order. What? It's out of order? OK, again, yeah. don't worry if the questions are out of order. Just watch for your question, OK? All right, so Megan saying 2005. In which month is the Lemon Festival celebrated in Menton? The Lemon Festival. Anybody remember that? Uh, February, thank you. All right, I know this one it has lots of olive trees, right? Where in French Riviera is the Rose Festival celebrated? Anybody know? These are kind of hard, huh? All right. So say nice, grassy. We got two for nice. We'll try nice first. All right, has lots of olive trees, right? Nice's Cote d'Azur Airport is France's second, third, fourth, or fifth busiest airport. Probably say second, you think? I'll say second. What is French Riviera known as in French? Thank you. What is the spicy olive oil based dressing? That's the pimenta, right? Thank you. And which of the following is one of the best wines in the French Riviera? It was a Fendel, perfect. All right, guys, you got that? So let's see if we're right. 2005, February, nice. Olive, second, Cote des Azur, Pimente, and Vendol. Six out of eight, so we missed two. So let's see what, we missed the first two. All right, so let's go back. So the French Riviera, nope. So France's busiest airport, should we say third? I don't think they'd probably say fourth or fifth, but okay. And where's the Rose Festival? Grasse, let's try that, thank you. Uh, 2005, Pimente, what was this one? April, May, what was it? February. Uh, Bendol, Cota de Azor, and Olive Tree. Correct. Okay, you guys got all those? Again, we don't want to miss anybody. We want to make sure everybody passes. So again, you can share your course on Instagram or LinkedIn. Guys, share your course. Yes. There I'm going. Who wants to go to Italy? French Riviera. All right. Um, Riviera. Okay. Um, okay, everybody pass. Okay, Ebony missed no. something. Okay, let's go back. Let's get your, your answer. Which question did you miss? Want to make sure we all pass. Which was the the olive um, the the olive oil? Pimente. Okay. Thank yep. you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Everybody good? Um, also, um, where in the French Riviera, the French Riviera was the roses? Uh, was the roses? I don't remember that question. And where in French Riviera is Rose Festival? I'm sorry. 
Oh, uh, uh, gra grasse. Grasse, okay. Yep. Let me know when everybody's done and then we move on to nice. How does it let you share? I have LinkedIn and mine don't show up. I don't know if maybe because I have mine logged into my computer or something. I don't know. Uh, I do too. And it's not showing up. It just says share the certificate. Oh. I have LinkedIn. I have all of it. <laughs> I actually just I, posted in, to LinkedIn. Okay. I guess maybe you have mm -hmm. to do it separately or something. Maybe it's my profile. Hold on. Okay. Okay. All right, everybody else good? Did everybody else pass? Let's move on. Again, if you don't pass, we have the answers here. Don't be afraid, don't be shy. We do this together, guys, okay? We don't. We wanna make sure everybody passes. All right, located just a few kilometers um, from the Italian border, right between the Mediterranean Sea and the mountains. Yeah, you can add your Facebook to that too. Oh, cool, okay to this academy under profile or something? Okay. Uh, NICE has an ideal location for vacationers from France. I'm, as I'm lost. Uh, I've, I've thought that. Okay, when, where are you at? You just took the test, right? So you took the test, Ebony? You can unmute yourself. You just took the test, right? All right, if somebody wants to help her, I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna go to NICE, click on the recommended courses and we're doing NICE now. You can also probably find it up in the course detail. All right, so NICE is the prime entry to the French Riviera. Capital of the French Riviera, NICE is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Located just a few kilometers from the Italian border, right between the Mediterranean Sea and the mountains. NICE has an ideal location for vacationers from France as well as Italy. The climate is mild with bright sun. It's known for its diverse landscapes, beautiful beaches with blue azure waters. City offers history, culture, art, creation, events, leisure, nature, and culinary flavors. Nice is one of the oldest human settlements in Europe, officially founded by the Greeks around 350 BC. Many visitors to France say that Nice is their favorite French city because of its great beauty and mild climate. All right, how do you get there? By plane, Nice Cote d'Azur International Airport is the third, there it is, third busiest airport in France, serves as an entry point to the Cote d'Azur and Monaco. It is well connected to Nice, Monaco and Italy via the Promenade des Agles and the Cannes and Antibes via other routes. Again, I apologize for pronunciations, guys. NICE is served by many carriers from all over France and Europe. 54 carriers across the world operate direct flights to NICE from 30 countries. By train, direct TGV runs from Paris and can take over 5.5 hours. Rail services are also available from Lille, Lille uh, Lyon, and Marcel. Uh, SNCF railroad station connected to all major cities. By road, it's over nine hours from Paris, okay? And motorway, motorway A8 links to European capitals. And then by water, Nice Port is used as a starting point for many popular cruises. Many cruise liners include NICE in their itinerary. The port also connects to Corsica, okay? Read more here. You can open that up to get more details. And then what about the food? Everybody loves food, right? Also, don't miss the old town with its narrow streets. It's Plazetta, 
offers many other treasures, urban, cultural, seaside, and culinary explorations are all waiting, awaiting you. Nice and its area have a culture and tradition that have much in common with those of Italy, while the city's many fine restaurants and hotels serve the best food in the French tradition. Local specialties in and around Nice have a distinctive, distinct, distinctly Italian Mediterranean flavor. Uh, Pesaladere um, is a kind of onion pizza with anchovies. Nice ravioli or ravioles need little introduction. Les farces, literally stuffed things, are vegetables, notably Aber, um, ab, abergines or courgettes, which is zucchini, stuffed with a meat, rice, and herb mix. Saka, known in Italy as farinata, is a seasoned pancake made from chickpea flour and olive oil. As a seaport, Nice is also a town known for its seafood, including dishes and the classic Mediterranean fish red mullet, rouget and see Bream Dorade, Dorade, okay? All right, uh, things to see, wow, isn't that beautiful? All right, the walkway, the ocean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so nice combines an authentic charm with the um, conviviality of the Mediterranean by offering a host of activities and sites to visit. Thanks to the French Riviera Pass, you can receive discounts on some of the city's top guided tours and museums. Discover or rediscover Nice, a city of scents and flavors. Go visiting through visiting some of the many markets, boasting fresh flowers, vegetables, fruit, and fish. The seafront, called the Promenade des Anglais, um, the old port, the old city, and the flower market, the Matisse and Chagall museums, and then the landmarks, Place Messena, Promenade des Agles, and Via Messena. Hope that's right. Historic center and museums. Look how colorful those are. Even if Nice had nothing in the way of museums and monuments, it would still be a place whose charm would be enough to satisfy many of its visitors. You have Old Town, View, View Nice. Uh, the old city of Nice arcs around inland from Castle Hill, from the Promenade des Angles to the Old Port. Its back streets are filled with cozy cafes, Baroque churches, charming boutiques, and flaneurs, strollers. Nice being close to the Italian borders is very much influenced by the country's architecture and culture. I know the umbrellas are pretty cool. Museums, until recently, many of the museums were free, but charges have now been introduced. All right, so always try to get in and get these places early. All right, Musée Matisse showcases the diverse work of former Nice resident Henry Matisse and is housed in a stunning Geno Genoese villa. Uh, Museum National Marc Chagall is dedicated to the works of Marc Chagall, including 17 biblical message paintings. Pretty cool. Um, Historia Natural de Nice is a natural history museum, celebrates the rich biodiversity of the Mediterranean. Uh, Musée de Art Modern uh, de Art Contemporain, Mamic, Features over 400 works of modern art from artists like Warhol, Wesselman, uh, Liechtenstein, and some of France's most celebrated avant garde artists. And then you have um, the Despo, Despo Arts de Nice, housed in a lavish late 19th century building, showcases sculptures by Rodin and Degas, paintings by Van Lu, Franganard, Dufy, Rodin, and Monet, which with works of art ranging from the 13th to the 20th century. All right, and then what about the beaches? Look at that beautiful blue water. Nice has one of the longest and most famous beaches of the French Riviera. Even though the beach is not sandy, but of small pebbles, millions of bathers continue to be driven here each year. Uh, the pebbly beach of Plague 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 Public. I'm sorry, Publique 
des ponchetas, who throngs with with bronzed bodies relaxing or playing a game of beach um, volleyball while operators rent out catamarans and jet skis. There are dozens of shops and cafes around the area too. And then the old port nice, uh, nowadays a yachting marina where visitors can adore, admire the luxury yachts of the super rich. Tourist attractions around nice, you have uh, NICE is well connected to the Riviera Coast and to the Alpine hinterland by public transport. Villa Franche de Sermer, a delightful small old seaside town with narrow streets and small beaches. You have Belour de Sermer, a seaside town most exclusive of NICE's suburbs on a rocky peninsula. You have Villa Efrusi House and Gardens of the Villa Efrusi de Rothschild. Garden lovers should climb the hill to visit the exquisite house and famous gardens of the Villa Efrusi de Rothschild. There are various organized tours that cover the main towns of the Riviera. The tours can range from four to eight hours. So keep that in mind. The French Riviera Pass, discover nice in the Côte Côte de Azur with a single card, provides free access to most important sites at Nice and Côte d'Azur, helps you make big savings on your holiday budget. Available options, 24 hour, 48 hours, and 72 hours. All right, everybody ready for your second test? Everybody ready? Let's get going. Nice, Côte d'Azur International Airport serves as an entry point to the Côte d'Azur and, was it Monaco? Mm -hmm. Which of the following is the capital of the French Riviera? Oops, sorry. What's the capital of the French Riviera? Nice, thank you. How much time does it take to reach Nice from Paris? The nine hours? Mm -hmm. I think so too. All right, the back streets of the old city of Nice are filled with gardens, cozy cafes, monuments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna okay we have gardens cozy cafe I was thinking gardens I'm gonna try garden but but Jean's been there so I don't know Sean she she all right I'll go with you since you've been there which of the following museums of nice showcases sculptures of Rodin and Degas Sorry, guys. Mute. Bow. We'll do bow. Okay. What is pisilla the air? Is that the onion with the anchovies? Okay. Thank you. Uh, what was nice founded? When was nice founded by the Greeks? Was it 350? Okay, I thought 350. I'm going to try 350 first. Okay, let's try it. Da -da 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 -da! Yay, we got them all right, guys. <laughs> all right, what was the first question? La, 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 that was what nice. Was the last, what was the last one? Nice founded by the Greeks. 350. 350? Yep. Everybody good? Um, Teresa, what other ones did you miss? So you've got nice, um, nine hours. I think we chose Cozy Cafe. What was the, what showcases sculptures by Rod, Rodin and Degas? That was Bo, Bo, B-E-A-U-X. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Everybody else good? 
Perfect. Now we're going to go to Monaco. Make sure you download your certificate. When was my 350? Is that the 350? Teresa? When was nice founded? Perfect. All right. Keep asking questions if you need them. We want to make sure you pass. We've got two more, and then you guys are done with this course. Monaco and more, second smallest oops, city country in the world, only after the Vatican. Um, the capital, the capital was um, uh, uh, but, but, but that's um, is the capital nice? I think it's nice. Yes. All right. It is a playground for the rich and famous and flaunts multi million pound uh, yachts glinting in Monte Carlo Harbor. It is a Mediterranean members only club where celebrities flock to for its opulent lifestyle, discreet banking facilities. Okay. So the language is French and Monasca, so the, the main languages, English and Italian are also spoken. The hottest months are June through August, coolest January and February. The nearest airport is Nice. Helicopter and road services are available from Nice. Uh, TGV operates to Monaco from various destinations across, across France, that's the train, okay? and other neighboring cities. And then you can go by boat. Hercule Port and Fonteville are main ports for yachts, okay? Must sees, okay? Let's make sure you see all the exciting, beautiful destiny. Oh, you, wow, that's beautiful. All right, so you have expecting plenty of luxury hotel towers glamorous nightclubs and grand casinos. Um, so you have the prehistoric Anthro anthropology museum. Uh, you have oceanographic. You have the museum of stamps and coins. You have Prince's Palace of Monaco and Palace Changing of the Guards. Prince of Monaco's vintage car collection, Monte Carlo Harbor and Hotel de Paris. Uh, must do gallery. Okay. Race cars. Wow. Look at that. That's kind of cool. All right. So you have the opera at Monte Carlo. You have Basque at the Lavarto beach. Try your luck at the Monte Carlo casino. How about the Monte Carlo oh, grand yeah. prix? Oh, Oops. thank you. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Take a helicopter ride. What about the events? Monaco offers its visitors glitz with its big annual events such as Tennis Masters Series in April, Formula One Grand Prix in May, International Nonviolent Film Festival, okay, Monte Carlo Opera, and then the annual Springs Arts Festival. Okay, so the Grand Prix is in May, Tennis Masters is in April. What to eat? While in Monica, do try these local delicacies. You have the rice and pumpkin filled pastry, barbagion, fagu, orange flower water pastries with nuts, saka, the chickpea pancakes, stakapi, dried cod in tomato sauce. <laughs> what to shop for? Perfume, chocolates, jewelry, ceramics, clothing, hosiery, shoes, embroidery, are some of the most popular um, Monasque products people buy. You also have the nightlife. Monaco is not really popular for its nightlife. The restaurants shut early, some bars run to late, and some casinos too. Casinos offer night shows, cabarets, etc. All right, then you have about Antibes. Uh, been a favorite among painters, including Picasso from the old port docked with luscious, luscious ships or from the ramparts that surround it. During the summer, 
The place is packed primarily with French families. In the evenings, everyone is out at the many outdoor restaurants in the old part of Antibes and in Juan Les Pins, a fun place for relaxed vacation. In addition to the mega yachts and picture-perfect beaches, Antibes is famous for its literary and artistic history. All right, getting to and around Antibes, both Antibes and Juan Les Pens are closely connected to the Nice via rail and air. Uh, via train, the Nice Cans line in the, is the connection, okay? Uh, via air, Nice Airport's 25 minute drive without traffic. You can walk the most convenient and experimental mode of travel for excellent views of the city. You can take a bike, Almost, although most of Antibes is hilly, biking can be very beautiful and rewarding experience. You can drive, not considered to be the best option since they have accidents all the time. As the other, as with other French cities, Antibes can be difficult to get around. Public transportation, VDC are private taxi cabs, but the price needs to be fixed in advance so they don't gouge you. Then you have the cruise, luxury yachting ports of Antibes. Port Vauban is indeed one of the most famous for the world's finest super yachts, okay? Things to see in Antibes. The Cap, very romantic under a full moon and beaches. The Cours Messena, a provincial um, um, food market. The Musée Picasso, the first museum dedicated to the artist, Marineland, the largest sea park in Europe and its orca and dolphin display. Enjoying the sandy beaches of Juan Les Pes, Le Pes, Le Pin, sorry, Jazz Festival. Listen to jazz at Penay. Discover Cap de Antibes, its luxurious villas and the Ferrer de la Grupe Lighthouse. <laughs> on board an open top bus. The Pass Cote, Cote de France provides plenty of ideas for free excursions and activities in a tea base. Dishes to try, Chez Helen, Chamquila, Romagna Mia, Le Vauvon, and La Petite Escale. All right, and then the cans overview. Cannes is one of the most famous for its annual film festival and is a popular tourist city, home to plenty of luxury shopping, dining, and hotels. You know Cannes, the cinema, cinema glamour capital? Discover the true Cannes. Visit, visit its quarters from the palaces of La Crusette to the small streets of Suquet. Stroll through Marche Fourville. Admire the Vaux port walk to the Croix de Gardes, or simply relax on the sandy beaches facing the Lorenz Islands. Don't miss Cannes' many events and spectacle, spectac tackles, spectacles, yeah. festival of games, dance festival, electronic beaches, festival of pyrotechnic art, not forgetting the famous Cannes Film Festival. What is there to see and do in Cannes? Well, you have the past Côte des or France provides plenty of ideas for free excursions and activities in Cannes. Embark on a free sea trip to the two island gems of the Côte des Or, Ile Saint Marguerite and Ile Saint Honorat. Just a few minutes by boat with, from the Port de Cannes, the Lorenz Islands offer you guaranteed change of surroundings in which nature, culture, and relaxation are perfectly combined. Also learn about Cannes during the guided visits offered by the city, Cannes, and the cinema. Once Cannes was, visit the Musée de la Castre in the historic quarter or view the exhibitions of the Center des Art de la Malmaison on La Crosette. With family or with friends on a weekend or on vacation, save money on your leisure activities and trips in Cannes with the Pass Côté des Azores, France. Lying to the west of the Antibes, Cannes is the other main city of the French Riviera. Cannes is, of course, most famous for its annual film festival, which 
um, after the Hollywood Oscar ceremony is the biggest annual event in the world of film, Cannes is also a popular venue for trade fairs, including the annual music industry fair, the Madame. That takes place in the late January. During these events, the town attracts visitors hoping to get a glimpse of their favorite film star or musician. And of course, it is a town with plenty of tourist accommodations and beaches. Anyone thinking of visiting Cannes at the time of the major event should book their accommodations months in advance. Few mile, I, miles inland from Cannes lies the small town of Grassy, capital of the French perfume industry. The famous Fragonard Perfumery offers free guided visit, factory visits, and perfume museum. So you have the uh, Sweet Marguerite boat from Cannes, the Honorette boat from Cannes, the St. Marguerite boat from Cannes, that the same, yeah, and then the little train. All right, and a true Riviera town, Kansas synonymous with a list glamour, where one can discover the city rich in culture and one of the loveliest mar marinas in France. Its harbor boasts of fishing boats as well as the super yachts of the super rich. Cannes also drives a huge amount of attention due to the town's iconic film festival held each summer. The town glimmers with celebrities from across the world, some found aboard the endless yachts or sunbathing on one of its beautiful beaches. All right, see and do in Cannes, what can you do? Let's look at the ooh, cheese and, and grapes and wine. Okay, that looks yummy. All right, wine is also to be found in Vaux Port, which sits just beyond the Alice de Stars, a street dedicated, um, decorated with hand prints left in the pavement by visiting actors. Rather more enchanting is the old port itself with its odd medley of luxury boats and tiny fishing vessels. Rows of palm trees, <laughs> exactly, and fragrant flower market. Yes, cans can be all champagne and supercars, but the best thing in the city are free, sun, sea, sand, and celebrity spotting all included. All right, getting to and from Cannes, you have the airport situated at a distance of 24 kilometers, coach, express coast, train, bus, and taxi are available from Terminal 1. By train, you have uh, the train runs between Nice and Cannes. Um, nice Cannes, ha, huh? no, just kidding. Public transport, walk, best way to explore the compact Cannes. Public transportation is reliable and cheap. The City Palm service operates in the very center of Cannes. Uh, taxis are also reliable anywhere in the city. Tipping is not mandatory, but appreciated. Driving comparatively comfortable, comfortable than the rest of the region, except during the film festival when roads are blocked from 6 p.m. onward. And then you can hire a bicycle. One of the best ways to explore the city, hire scooters and bicycles from Mistral locations. All right, other must-sees, La Siquette, the picturesque old town with a completely different side to the city, remains a fortified tower and the 12th century chapel of St. Anne can be found on the top of the hill. The island of Ile Saint Mar Marguerite, the spot where the mysterious man in the Iron Mask was incarcerated in his cell at the fort of, of St. Marguerite remains. Take a boat to St. Um, Honorat, uh, home to monks, monks since AD 410, and the ruins of the 11th century monastery can still be seen. Pa Palais des Festivals at this Congress, location of the Cannes Film Festival each year, Mures Pet Stacons, the painted walls of Cannes, La Crusette, Musée de la Castar. La Vauport, Alante de Mermaid, the Via Villas of Cannes. Whew. The Cannes Cote d'Azur card offers discounts and activities, 150 attractions throughout Cote d'Azur region. Okay, so keep that in mind. 
All right, things to do. Get dragged along with the waves of a wake cord. Go hiking around the ca in the caves of St. Uh, Césaire. Revisit the Pass of Musée de la Casar. Suquet Hill is, is Cannes' old town quarter and its dim, diminutive maze-like streets now serve as ground zero for shops, bars, and restaurants. At the top is the charming Musée de la Casar with its ethnographic history of Cannes. Even if you're not into the relics, it's worth the hike for the view. Um, Elle saint Honorat reputation would have us think that the Cannes is all about high-end shopping and champagne cocktails. If that is your vibe, all power to you. But if you want something a little more holistic, take the 15-minute boat ride to Elle saint Honorat, home to the 20 Benedictine um, Dictine monks. They'll even let you join them for a morning mass, 11.25 weekdays and 9.50 on Sundays. Work out those things with the stand-up paddle boarding. To the bystander, this relatively new water sport might look about as taxiing as a stroll along La Crescette. But balancing on oversized surfboards is a tough workout for the lower body. It's also a novel way of exploring Cannes' scenic coastline. Hire all the gear from Cannes' stand-up paddle, um, which is located right there under www Cannes stand-up towel. Paddle. Blah. Um, the beach. Can's main attraction, the long shop studded stretch of La Crusette, boasts 12 kilometers of beach. There are many expensive private beaches here, offering privacy to well heeled clients and celebrities during the film festival. Further west along the seafront are the free beaches where the locals gather along the Plague's Du Midi. These can get very crowded in summer. There are more beaches to the, co to the east of the Crescent. Shopping, it's easy to hemorrhage uh, money in cans. Designer boutiques, after all this is the court, uh, Cote d'Azur. But although the town is a magnet for dedicated followers of fashion, there are plenty of affordable shops lurking down the side streets for those with less money and more sense. And then the nightlife. Cannes has a lively nightlife that usually spills into the following morning. It's hardly a visa, but the town has many pubs, bars, and clubs, ranging from swanky celebrity hangouts to backpacker boozers. <laughs> the cobbled alleys of La Saquette are perfect for a romantic drink. If you fancy something livelier, head to the Rue des Frères Predinat. Oh, sorry, and the surrounding streets. Wow, okay, take the quiz, yay. All right, so let's look at a couple pictures. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, as sur, sur Mer is a small village on nice Monaco route on a small mountain. Eze has a lot to offer, a beautiful cactus garden with spectacular view. The old town is fully commercialized. Fragonard Perfume Factory, which you can visit for free. The Path of um, Nietzsche, named German philosopher Friedrich W. Nietzsche. Um, highly, oh, cool, very good. Okay, the path that goes down the mountain from Azim Village to Azim Shermer en route, some fantastic views and a waterfall. The walk takes about 45 minutes and is very recommended. So thank you. All right, let's take the quiz. Get your thinking caps on. Cans lies to the blank of a tea base. Does it lie south or east? Okay. I think it was west. <laughs> All right, we'll try west. All right, what path? Does down the mountain from a Z village to Izer? Is that this one? Think. What is the name of the street in Cairns, which is decorated with handprints in the pavement by visiting actors? This one. Thank you. Which of the following is the smallest country in the world? Thank you. 
Which among the following is the main port for yachts in Monaco? Which place in Cairns is home to 20 Benedictine monks? La Crescette. Honor it, honor it, thank you. Which among the following delicacies is rice and pumpkin filled pastry? I think that was this one. All right, where in the French Riviera is Museum Picasso, first museum dedicated to the art artist situated? Thank you. How far is Anse from the nice airport? I'm at 25 minutes, that's like that. In addition to mega yachts, Atebe is famous for architecture, history. Thank you. All right, let's check it out. You guys got that? Let's see. West, Boulevard Croissant, Vatican, Hercules, Hon Honoret, Barbagioyan, Antibes, 25 minutes, and history. Okay, we missed one, but we got, we passed. So let's go ahead and retake it, see what we missed. Oops, dang it. I should have went the other way, right? View. Oop, nope, that's not what I wanted. All right, where am I? Where am I? Okay, let me get back. Sorry, guys. on here all right i missed one everybody passed i didn't get i didn't get all the answers because it wasn't letting me go to the quiz like i had to keep reloading okay um Okay, I already took this one. Okay, so yeah. All right, so it's just amazing, highly. Okay, all right, so let's, let me, um, does anybody need to go over the qu quest again? What is the main port to Monaco? Okay, let's go through real does quick. Does anybody remember what port Yes, I do. Lion port. Hold on, I'm going through them again. I think that one with the directions northwest, east, south, and east, I think it was east. What was this one? You're on the wrong one. I know, I have to retake it. What was this one? Why do you got to retake that one? Because I had to start over. You wouldn't let me go. You just been able to try. click on the app. Monaco or whatever. All right, let me go back. Ah, hadn't you already downloaded that certificate? Yes. Well, then you shouldn't have to do it again. All right. Well, if somebody went, I missed one, but I, I couldn't go back to retake it. So, because who need, what's the answer? Um, okay, does anybody need to retake the test for Monaco? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Marnie. Yeah, I didn't get all the answers because it wasn't letting me um, like re like go, go to the quiz part. So the ones I didn't get was the, um, the path down the mountain from Ez Village to Ez Sermer. I didn't get that answer. Um, the the pass going down was um, is that Nietzsche? I don't have. Does anybody know the pass going down is that Nietzsche? Yeah. Okay. Try Nietzsche. The the N the N one. Okay. N I C H. Uh, it, um. The uh, where the where in the French Riviera um the first museum dedicated to the artist situated.
Um, and T Bays. Okay. Thank you guys. Uh, the other one's which place in Kansas is home to 20 Benedictine monks? Karat. Karat. Okay. And the other one was uh, which among the following delicacies is rice and rice and pumpkin filled pastry? That's a bublicon yeah. thing. Yeah, barbacon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay I got the same amount as you guys okay thank you all right perfect congratulations all right last one is Grasse and more let's do this one all right this town is known as the world's perfume capital what was the smallest country that was uh um Vatican, Vatican. yeah Vatican and also for the famous 11th century Notre Dame de Pue, not just the town, but the surrounding villages also offer a serene tranquility as they unspoilt by tourism. So to get around, you have nice or can stations are the closest. The by air is the nice international airport and by road frequent buses from nice to Grassi and take about an hour and a half or from Cannes, the buses are less frequent, okay? So from Nice to Grasse takes about an hour and a half. See and do discover the city of perfume on the little train. Create your own perfume in the perfumeries of Fragonard, Molinard, or Gallimard. Visit the International Perfumery Museum. Try the flower-based cuisine. Stroll the narrow streets that inspired some parts of the novel La Pour Parfume. Try guided tours. The Pays de Grasse has workshops, visits to caves, top or treetop acro branch adventures, mountain bike trails, tour of the factory, and chocolate tasting in Grasse. All right, another one of the most famous towns on the French coast is Saint Tro Saint Tropez. Um, for its glitzy beaches, stone buildings, breathtaking scenery, and heritage sites. It is extremely popular with the rich and famous, has inspired great painters such as Paul Signac, Signac, Henry Matisse. One can relish the experience of being both in province and on the Cota des Azur. It is also a lively fishing village, an exceptional land of beaches, culture, and heritage where one can enjoy all pleasures, lazing on the beaches, cocooning in the spas of the most beautiful hotels, shopping sprees, flavors delivered by the great chefs and parties until the end of night. Um, getting around uh, by air, you can take a local helicopter charter provider. Heli Security offers a more select luxurious way of getting in San Tropez with connections from Nice, Monaco, Cannes, and more. By sea, many cruise ships anchor or loiter offshore and bring passengers to town. One can sail down via ferry boats from an other big provinces. And then the train, the closest main station is in St. Raphael that connects to St. Tropez via buses. And then by road, large parking lot at the border of the town. From there, it is advisable to walk to the town. All right, see and do. You have the Harley Dav Davidson Festival in May, Euro Festival in May, and the Porsche Paradise in October. Les Nots du Chateau de la Moulette, <laughs> celebration of music and theater in July. Shopping, the capital of shopping in Provence, with its boutiques offering all the biggest brands in fashion. Try perfume and beauty products in the classy boutiques. At the Provencal, the Provencal, Provencal oh, sorry, market, every Tuesday and Saturday, enjoy a chat with the locals. Food, taste, sun-ripened tomatoes doused in local olive oil. To touch petungal balls, whatever those are. There's an array of dining options here, blending traditional and international flavors. And then you have visit a game of Pentanque in Place de Slices, the Musée de Alan, oh my gosh, Anna Siad in its 16th century chapel, modern maritime museum, 
the Mayasan des papillons with over 20,000 species of butterflies from all over the world. All right. And then you have about Toulon uh, has over 3,000 years of history when the Ligurs settled here. It is the location of the prison made famous by Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. Sorry. The old town area is a full of small streets and fountains, as well as the Toulon Cathedral, and is also the location of the daily Provencal. Is, how do you pronounce that? Is that right? Provencal? 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 OK, Provencal. thank you. What is it? Provencal. Provencal. Oh my gosh. OK. I know. The French is hard. Provencal. <laughs> Thank you. Love the accent. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, many of the numerous fountains in Toulon were first built in the 17th century. Mount Ferran looms over the city and can be reached by cable car. All right. Thank you, uh, Megan. We'll see you on our, you'll catch it on the training, on the recording. All right, by air, the nearest airport is Toulon Hiraris International Airport, 18 kilometers. Marsal Airport is about 100 kilometers, okay? Toulon is a large harbor with many international connections. Closest main station is located in Centre Villa Toulon, direct links from Nice as well as Marsal, okay? Things to see and do, annual music festival, jazz in Toulon on July 14th, um, Bastille Day. An aircraft show can be seen from the beach and fireworks at midnight on August the 15th, fireworks at the St. Louis Fort next to the beaches. The food, La Flamble, pizza restaurant, Grand Cafe de la Rade. And then visit the um, Place de la Libert Libert Liberty, the Opera House, museums and places of interest, several beaches, take the cable car, French Teleferique to the, go to the Mont Theron Hill, Memorial Museum of Landing and Province, Mount Ferran Zoo, Bibliothèque, um, Bibliothèque uh, Municipal at Museum de Historia Naturelle, the Navy Museum, the Museum of Tour, Tour Royale, and the Boat Museum named La Dives, La Dives. Oh my gosh. All right, and then Marcel is the second largest city in France, the administrative capital of Provence, Alpes, Cote d'Azur. <laughs> also home to France's largest commercial port. Marcel can also be called a cultural melting pot as it serves as an entrance to France for many immigrants in the country. It is also the oldest town in France. It is a regional cultural and entertainment center with an opera house, museums, art galleries, cinemas, plenty of dining and dancing. Today, Marcel is truly a French city with unrivaled music and fashion industries that add a dynamic flavor to the multi-ethnic mix. June to September, the city comes to life with all manner of events from dance and music to theater and gay pride. Uh, will appeal to the fashion enthusiasts, the fourth century cathedral and the 12th century parish church of St. Laurent are also well worth the visit. And then uh, the basics, the view, the gallery. So you have the train there. Um, oh, Reach by air, Marcel Province Airport is situated 25 kilometers from the city. Many flights operate directly to MRS across Europe. From outside Europe, the best way to reach is via CDG Paris. By road, Marcel is well connected by road from various neighboring cities. By rail, the TGV network mar makes Marcel well connected to the rest of the country. By ferry, the ferry port in Marcel handles millions of tons of annual traffic. Uh, public transportation, uh, Regé des Transport, they operates throughout the city. Taxi network is well present. Also, if you want to drive, however, not usually a pleasant experience, especially for tours, city center can be explored on foot, even though some popular sightseeing districts have steep slopes. So the architectural heritage of Marcel 
reflects all the epochs, um, epics that mark the history of the great city of the Mediterranean world. Religious buildings are not lacking in Marcel, starting with the very famous Notre Dame de la Garde, founded in 1214, it was quickly an important pilgrimage site for sailors. Inside, one can admire a real masterpiece of polychromy inspired by Byzantine culture, as well as a beautiful silver statue on the high altar. The Good Mother, perched atop the bell tower, has protected the whole city since 1869. Major, the cathedral of the city, replaced the old major, a church dating from the 12th century. Several forts, like that of St. Jean, operated throughout the Museum of Civilization of Europe and the Mediterranean. Classified as historic monuments, Fort St. Nicholas, still occupied by the army. Beautiful 19th century mansions, such as the Palace of Faro, the buildings of the Rue de la République and the Longchamp Palace, the first para-urban national park in Europe. All right, last one, view the gallery. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, catch a game experiences in Marcel. Catch a game at the Stadium de, de la Drome, cooking lessons, go diving in the Calancas, take a boat to Chateau d'If. The heights of the city offer 360 panorama to admire all the most beautiful landscapes. Marcel offers some of the best shopping opportunities outside of Paris and a dynamic live music and club scene. Important attractions. The Vallon des Offles, a picturesque vill fishing village. Vauport, Old Port, Notre Dame de la Garde, the neo Byzante Basilica. Museum de Civilization de Europe, Museum of European Mediterranean Civilizations. There we go. Uh, Radiant City, a housing development in the southern suburbs of Marsal. Uh, tranquil, expansive greenery, complete with duck filled lake and rowing boats for hire. You have La Panier and Vela Charit, Abbe St. Victor Abbey, built in the fifth century on the burial place of St. Victor. Museum de Histoire de Natural de Marcel, and then the Velodrome Stadium and OM Museum. The tourist passes, free transportation, including sightseeing, train and boat ride, boat trip to Chateau d'If, free entry to museums, free guided tours and discounts in selected shops available for one to three days. Passes can be purchased at the tourist office or participating outlets. Whew. All right, last one, let's do this, guys. Where is Place de la Liberté? Say, Toulon, thank you. In which of the following cities can one have an experience of being both in province and on Côte d'Azur? Thank you. Monaco. Which of the following cities? Is it two, one or two? <laughs> anybody, anybody. What about the month that the Porsche Paradise is held? What month was the Porsche Paradise held? Anybody remember? Yeah, that one that question was in one city. Okay, what? That one question is asking for more than one city. In which of the following cities can one have an experience of being both in province and courtesan? It says in which of the following cities? I think you can only choose one. Well, that's weird. <laughs> All right, we're saying October for the Porsche. Okay, how many species of butterflies? 20,000. Which of the following is known as the world's perfume capital? I think it's grass. Grass? grass how many days that. is the Marcel City Pass available? Hey, stop. 
Which of the following helicopter charter provides the security one? Yeah. Marcel is the what largest city in France? Second. Numerous fountains in Toulon were built in the Thank you. And when is Bastel Day celebrated? Bastille Day. Seventeenth. All right, let's try it, guys. So we have Toulon, Saint Tropez, October twenty thousand, Grasse. Three days, Hella Security, 2nd, 15th, and 17th. That Bastille one was July 14th. Thank you. All right, so we missed two, so we'll retake the course. All right, let's go to the end again. What other one did we miss? I don't know. I didn't hit submit yet. <laughs> All right. All right. So this was. I didn't see which one I missed. Dang it. Ah. All right. So what is the one you said? How many days? The city passes three days. Okay. Was it the 14th century, 17th century? Was it the third largest city? Anybody know? I know this one. The perfume capital. Anybody know the perfume capital? I'm going to look it up. I'm pretty sure it was Grasse. I wrote it down under Grasse. What is the... And that Marcel one is the third largest city. I just looked that up. Thank you. Which month is the Porsche Paradise? Marseille is the second, I'm sure. Second largest city in France. Which, what is it, the third largest city? Second, sure. Okay, what, where are we? Yeah. Third largest. Yeah. Okay, got that. All right, what month one. is Third. the second one? Second. Not second third. largest? Second. I'm sure I'm French. Well, I'm mistaken. Okay. And October. What is the place de la liberté? Long. And was this one the 17th of October? 14th July. 14th July. Thank you. And then which cities open up to the province? Is that Grasse? It could be Grasse, yeah. Let me check. Nine out of 10. Okay. Lisa got nine out of 10. Everybody good? Don't know which one I missed, but. <laughs> yep, I'm good. All right. Yay. So we passed our French Riviera. Yay. There we go. Congratulations. The Fountains of Toulon. Okay, if, who's missing what? So we can make sure you guys get your certificate. All right, we did this one, right? Yeah. Why is it make, taking me back? All right, the fountains of Toulon, what was that? Where was that question? Pam, what was the question?
All right, so the friend trivia expert is different than the one we just took. Oh, when was it built? Um, numerous fountains were built in the blank 15th century. Okay, if somebody can help with those really quick. Okay, here, here's this one. All right, so um, perfume capital. Sorry, guys, he's going into this. Um, Grasse. Um, you guys want to do this Paris expert, get this one done? Let's see. Anybody else missing any? All right. So is this all of this one, Paris overview? Think we can do it? Or do you guys want to save this for the next time? You guys tell me. Yay. OK, everybody pass outside the training. Yes. OK, yes. OK, definitely. Let me know. Does, does anybody want to do this with me now, or you want to save it for later? I have a client call in okay. 30 minutes, so I better not. <laughs> OK, yeah, I, I have one, too, at um, 2.30 in an hour. Um, in game, but we can save it if others want to save it when we can. All right, well, what we can do is we can start it, see where we're at. Um, and then and then we're doing another Paris later on. So if we don't finish, we can finish it when we do that one. What do you guys say? All right, Olga, get that booking. Let's see how long these are. Thanks, Marnie. You're welcome. Good luck, guys. Oh, All right. Good. Look, these are pretty, these are just going over dates. And so let's, I'm just kind of going through, take the quiz. Whew. Okay. Dang, how are we supposed to remember all those? <laughs> all right, where, where is the place? A lot of read. All right. So yeah, this one looks like a kind of difficult one. Maybe we'll save this one for another one. What do you guys think? You guys okay with that? Okay. All right, we'll put this one towards, uh, let me add this one um, so we don't miss it. So I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna add it down. Where do we do Paris again? Right here. Okay, we good with that? Insert, there we go. Okay, so we'll do Paris and Paris expert. How's that? You guys good with that? Okay, so um, what is today? What is today, Tuesday? So Friday, we're doing Amsterdam. Okay, join us for Amster Amsterdam. Saturday, um, we're doing New York. New York. All right, join us for that. Um, and then Christine is doing on Sunday, as uh, Azamara, which is on the same as Royal Caribbean. Um, she's gonna do part one and part two. Please join her for that. I, I will be on a cruise um, on that Tuesday that I'm gone. She will be doing the Marriott update. If you guys are Marriott uh, members, you're gonna lose your benefits unless you complete at least two trainings. So she's gonna try to um, get you guys caught up on that. On the um, 12th, British Virgin Islands, okay? And then again, Azar, Azamara here. And then when I'm back on um, the 15th, then we will be doing St. Vincent Gren Gren Grenadines and St. Kitts, all right? And look at that, 
Kennedy Space Center. You guys want to learn about that? You want to learn about Netherlands? We'll be doing that. Uh, March 25th will be a catch up day. Okay. And then uh, Bolivia, Brazil, per Peru, Paraguay. We're going to be doing a, a course on that. And then our final exam for Princess and Canard. Get in and complete those guys. I still need to also, but you have three weeks. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. I appreciate all your time. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions and need any help while I'm on here? I'm going to go ahead and stop recording.